All right, guys, so welcome to, I think this is part four of the iPhone 12 cam track AR compositing CG elements into uh, videos or live footage. So today, this is actually really cool. What we're going to do is we're going to take a motion captured uh, animation or action that I captured using the perception uh, neuron axis version 2 that I have and actually this is the same motion that I used from my CGI short film from Unreal Engine 4 we're gonna take the motion from uh, axis neuron which is the perception neuron software and then we're gonna export it to 3ds max and then in 3ds max we're gonna use the iPhone 12 cam track ARs footage and 3D tracking and we're going to composite or add a live CGI to a live footage. I know it's a lot, <laughs> but just stay back and um, let's go ahead and get started. So in the Axis Neuron right now, you're going to see I have one scene here. I'm going to go ahead and load it up. And like I said, this is the Perception Neuron software where you capture your motion capture. And as you can see, I have here just a really walking animation. Pretend like I'm kind of like holding a weapon and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to be doing. And what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to trim it. So I'm going to start at maybe 400 to 1200. Okay, so you can see it right here. I'm going to do 400 to 1200 that that's the motion that I'm gonna want to export so let's go ahead and do that and to set all this up just check out my previous videos you know I'm not gonna show you how to wear the suit and all that stuff and how to capture it because I've showed it before already so go ahead and check those videos out and I'm gonna go ahead and export this and then I'm gonna go frame 400 to 12 let's do 1300 and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I created a tutorial file, CamTrack 2, and I'm just going to go ahead and select the folder here. And then what we're going to do is change this here into a 3DS Max biped. Okay? And once that's done, you pl uh, once that's done, go ahead and press export, and then Axis Neuron is going to do its thing. Okay? So now we are in 3ds max now i used blender before but now i'm showing you guys how to do stuff in 3ds max because this is actually my preferred software uh, i i just started learning blender which is a good software and it's free but 3ds max is really my favorite um you know animation uh, cgi kind of software so so in here what we're going to do is import that animation or motion capture animation that we just exported what you do is you go to the uh, create tab right here and we're gonna go to motion uh, they changed it a little bit here so give me a second right here system uh, we're gonna create a biped and we're just gonna go ahead and put it right there it's fine and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and go to the motion tab and we're gonna go to motion capture and we're gonna open that file that we just exported from Axis Neuron. So let me find it here, Cam Track 2. And I'm gonna change this to BVH. I'm gonna double click that file and I'm just gonna leave everything by default. And there you go. So you can see it's huge. And this is why we are not doing it with the model, the CG model. We're doing it like this and then we're gonna save this now as a BIP and that's what we're gonna be applying to the model right so now that we have that it looks like it's 450 frames so you can see the motion is working just like that you took a motion capture thing in 3ds max freaking amazing what to do now is what we're going to do is save this file as a bip so i'm going to go back to cam track 2 and i'm going to save this as a bip go ahead and save all right so that we should be good to go here so what i'm going to do is just close this project and then open a new one okay so we have 3ds max back up again i'm gonna go ahead and close this so now what we're gonna do next is pull up blender so while blender is loading so we need blender because the fx home iphone 12 app works with blender the camera uh information the camera tracking is in blender but if you can put it in blender you can put it in Maya, you can put it in 3ds Max. So like in previous videos, let's go ahead and delete this default camera in Blender, go to File, go ahead and Import, 
hit film AR. If you don't, if this is not available, check out my previous videos because I show you guys how to install this. I'm gonna go to the desktop, Cam Track 2, go to the file again, and here is the tracking information. And I'm gonna go to view, I'm gonna go to cameras, active camera, and here is our moving camera from the previous tutorials. So that's good. And then what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and um, go to file, export, export to ABC or Alembic. I'm gonna go back to the desktop, go to my cam track, and I'm gonna go ahead and do camera. All right, I'm gonna leave everything as default is okay. Export Alembic. So that should take a second. So once that's done, let's go ahead and go back to 3ds max so now the 3d model we're going to be using is i got it from turbo squid i don't model stuff i'm not talented enough for that stuff so uh let's go ahead and import actually let's go ahead and open the file okay so this cg file i got from turbo squid and all i did was open it and i'm not going to convert it to art okay i'm going to close this for now so that it's going to look good now this only uses scanline renderer, so you're not going to get photorealistic out of this pretty easy, but I don't have V-Ray or I don't have Corona. I just have the default scanline right now. So that being said, this model I got from Turbo Squid, like I said, and it comes with a low poly and a mid poly. So what I'm going to do is unhide everything and I'm going to delete the low poly because we want the mid poly and as you can see it's a little bit better so now that we have this set up let's go ahead and load that animation to this guy so if I go here he actually has a BIP01 I'm gonna go ahead and motion again we're gonna load the biped and it's right here and just like that we just gotta find him he's over here now he has that animation that we imported from Axis Neuron. Now, obviously, the gun is gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and shift H. The gun is gonna be off because when I motion captured for the weapon, this was not my intention, not use it in 3ds Max at all. I was actually originally gonna use it, well, I did use it in Unreal Engine 4. So just ignore the arms for now. So it is a little bit messed up, but as you can see, the motion capture perception run does a pretty good job at, you know, capturing motion. And like I said, the translation with the leg is probably going to be a little bit off, but you can tweak all that stuff. The most important part is you have the model in here animating. Okay, so that's good. And what I'm going to do is just change the FPS to 60 because that was the FPS we shot using the iPhone 12. And what I'm going to do is press F10. That's why I love 3ds Max. I'm just used to this, you know. I'm going to go ahead and switch it to custom. And we're going to go to 1920 by 1440. Which, <laughs> by 1440 because that is the aspect ratio of our output file later. So shift F. It is 43, but that's okay. So what do we do next? The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and import that Alembic file we exported from blender so go to file go ahead and import and we're gonna go ahead and merge i think i can merge it um nope uh, actually let's see if i can merge it here it should be the abc yep you can so go ahead and import as you can see the camera is all imported and if i go right here camera boom even the cube is imported that's really cool so i'm gonna change the perspective i'm gonna zoom out i'm gonna check out what's going on in my scene obviously my, my CGI is up there, but my camera is right here. We're going to get that fixed. No worries. So I'm going to delete the cube because I don't need it.